In this video I'm going to review the most demanded brand from my YouTube comments and acrylics coming up. Hello guys, I'm Anastasia and finally I have my Anacrylix order delivered. It took me quite a while because I missed a couple restocks, I just didn't notice the email, so they were out of stock again, but finally I did order it, so I have five acrylic powders total. It took nine days from the day I ordered till it get delivered to North Carolina. And acrylics powders. They come in a plastic light blue package. It's matte and it's all clean. This is the only place when you can see the logo and there's also the name of the color on the bottom. Let's open it up and there's no paper seal, only the plastic one, but I have to say it's pretty convenient because nothing got spilled during shipping and it's pretty easy to open it and to close it back. This is the crystal clear one. Whoops. There's probably something in it. And also I have cover pink, which seems like a light pink color. And also I have three pastel shades. I'm so excited to try this brand because I received so many requests on Instagram, on YouTube, everywhere. And finally, let's take a look. I'm not using a new brush and that's on purpose because I think this is like the best way to actually try the product. So I pick the medium-sized bead and apply it. Wow, the consistency of the product is really unusual. As you can see, it's not running as long as you pick the proper consistency and it doesn't stick to the brush much, which is so nice, especially if you have troubles um, getting your brush clogged or struggling when working with bright colors. Wow, it is definitely super easy to apply. This time I took a bit more monomer than before and we can see that the bead looks slightly different but it's still not too wet. So I would say this product really helps you to adjust to proper consistency, which is definitely so beneficial, especially for beginners. And it is clear. Cover pink, I'm really curious to try this one because the color looks a little bit unusual. And when I pick up the bead, I can see two colors. One is like peach and another one is like more white. I probably took too, not too much monomer with this one. Okay, so the color is semi-transparent, which is okay because I know that many people do not like when the color is like too intense. Okay, now we can definitely see like two colors in one. So I'm not sure if it's going to completely cover the nail. I mean, it's not really see-through, but also not as intense as regular colors. Okay, this time I'm going to try a bigger bead. I'm going to dry it with a tissue. Oh man, my brush is definitely too old. So there's no sharp point anymore. But it's still working. Okay, so the color is more like light peach. Light peach closer to whitish light cover color. The color I just showed you is called Sleeping Beauty. I decided to pick beautiful pastel shades, so another one is called Jasmine. It's like intense, I would say dark mint color. When I was placing the order, it was still summer, so obviously I was in a very sunny and summer mood. Next color is called Yum. It's beautiful purple shade. 
And this is the last color powder that I ordered. I also have clear and cover pink. So let's try cover pink to see how it works. I noticed right away that once you pick up the bead, it kind of separates into two parts. One is like peachy color and another one is clear. And it doesn't really matter how you apply it, there is still part that is a bit transparent. So I assume this cover pink color is semi-transparent. Are you ready for some shocking content? Well, you better be because it's coming. So I pick up acrylic bead just like this, just like I normally do, nothing really unusual. I place it on the tip and now take a look at this. It looks dry, right? Looks like it's about to fall off and it definitely looks like it's not really going to work. I mean, this is real time, okay? I swear, like no editing. And now take a look at this. It is still working and it is acrylic powder. It's not a, some poly gel. Wow. I mean, it also gives you enough time to play with it, to blend it, to do the cuticle work. So if you are a person who is not the fan of acrylic just because it sets too fast, well, this will definitely work for you. Cool. Let's take a look at the swatch. Colors are just amazing. They give a really good coverage, even without very thick layer. However, cover pink is semi-transparent. Let's try it on the client. As usual, we are going to start with hand examination. We are going to take a look at each nail and finger. There is nothing unusual or suspicious there, which means we can proceed to the nail prep. After pushing up the cuticles, I'm going to take off the surface shine. I'm using 180 grit buffer. You can also use the hand file if it works better for you. Make sure that the entire surface is matte and you do not have any shiny spots, especially along the sidewalls or near the cuticle. Last part of the dry manicure is trimming cuticles and aponychium with manicure scissors. Make sure it is all clean, we do not have any hangnails. And then I'm going to apply dehydrator on the entire nail plate. Always let dry because with some clients it is going to take a while, maybe like a minute or two. So just let it dry. And I decided to use acid primer. You can use it whenever you use any kind of acrylic system, but do not apply too much and also make sure that it is completely dry before you continue. I'm going to start with a clear powder and build the foundation of the nail and then I will proceed to using colors and do an ombre. Working with clear powder is rather easy. It is super easy to pick up the proper consistency so I think this brand will be perfect for beginners or anyone who's struggling with acrylic that is setting up too fast. But keep in mind, it definitely depends on the monomer you're working with. I'm using currently Entity Signature, which is fast setting monomer, but even then it feels a bit slow for me. But this is really a matter of personal taste of the products you're used to, when you're working for many years and you already have some personal taste, some products you're used to, whenever you try something that is very different, I think it always feels a little weird and uncomfortable at first. Another observation about this product is that the pigment in colors, it just feels different. It doesn't clog your brush too much, which is another advantage for beginners or for any nail technicians who have some issues working with acrylic. 
so I think it will be super easy to do designs like ombre or any kind of complicated designs, you know, when you really need the product to stay at a certain consistency and do not dry too fast. My original idea was to use cover pink near the cuticle area and then use each color on the free edge and create a colorful ombre. But it didn't really work out since the cover pink appeared to be transparent for it and you will see the result now. I tried to add more color on the top and even though it is covering the nail, it still didn't cover it too much to get a beautiful ombre look. However, since the product sets so slow, there is plenty of time to apply the product near the cuticle to make sure it is not flooding it as well as the sideballs. So every time I was working with it, I was just thinking about beginner nail technicians and I need definitely to recommend it on my online courses for beginners because once you do not have enough experience yet, it would be great for you to practice. I ended up sealing it with the clear. I added it in the center because this is where we're still missing products and build the apex. As I expected, it was super easy to pinch, which is a great feature for me too, because I like pinching nails. And on the rest of the nails, I decided to do the same, but I'm using clear near the cuticle instead of cover pink. Sometimes I pinch the nail first and then I seal it with a clear. It really depends on how long did I spend on product application. Do you know what else will be great for this product? I mean, which technique? One ball method. When you take the large bead of acrylic and create the entire nail using just one color. We are done with the application, let's do filing and shaping. I can't say that there is some difference in filing the product. It's not super soft, nor it is super hard, so I would say it's just average acrylic to file and shape. But regardless, I recommend you to do your best with product application, because the better you're at it, the less you will need to file. Done with shaping and filing, at this point I always ask a client to wash her hands and let's do some design. Since the Halloween is coming, we decided to do some Halloween themed nail art, such as spider webs, spiders, ghosts and more. We decided to call this set Cute Halloween. Most Halloween designs appear a little spooky because they have spiders, they have witches, skulls and more but some girls really preferred cute girly designs, so we decided to do a cute Halloween. We already used a pastel background, which I think already gives this friendly, cute and girly vibe. Then I will add a ghost, a broom, a spider, which will be also kind of cute and friendly. I'm using black gel paint because it has a thick consistency and is perfect for this kind of nail art. And then I added some white accents. 
then we cure it for the entire minute in LED and seal it with a no wipe top coat and cure it again. Cute Halloween design is finished and this was my review of an acrylics. I'm impressed and definitely recommend it for beginners, but keep in mind this is a slow setting product. Thank you so much for watching. If this is your first time here on my channel, consider subscribing as I post new nail art tutorials and product reviews just like this one every week. See you in my next one. Goodbye!